The end of the year and the holiday season brings work parties, family gatherings, drinks with friends, and of course, lots of food. You can enjoy the holiday season without that extra weight gain. AT News' Zach Wheeler spoke with a local registered dietitian and founder of Nexus Nutrition. Here are five healthy eating tips for the holidays. Don't skip your meals. So the tendency is, you know, we think, oh, well, we have a big dinner coming up later. I'm just going to go ahead and skip breakfast. I'm going to skip lunch. This can actually end up working against you. By the time you get to that dinner meal, you're going to be absolutely ravenous. And frankly, it's likely that you're going to eat more than really you need and that you're not going to feel those feelings of fullness until after the fact or where you're uncomfortable. Another one is making healthy food swaps where you can. So switching out some of those holiday dishes or opting to use less sugar in some of the recipes is one way in which we can reduce additional calories that may be getting through the food and help keep us on track. Another really important one is eating nutrient dense foods. I want to get specifically into uh, the protein aspect. So our foods that are high in protein are actually digested a little bit slower in the body. Thus, when we eat them, we have these feelings of being full for longer, really that kind of sustained fullness. So at that Thanksgiving dinner, at that Christmas dinner, opt for getting those extra servings in that turkey or maybe the Christmas ham. Really load up your plate with that because that's going to take up a lot of volume in the stomach and help to keep you full and help prevent you from overeating. Here's a good one because it is the holidays and we do deserve to enjoy ourselves. I want you to eat the foods that you love. Firm believer in everything in moderation. So if you love that pumpkin pie, you like that apple pie or whatever, the pumpkin roll, whatever it is that really gets you going, you can absolutely indulge with that. Don't avoid it. Restrictive behaviors ultimately end up leading to, you know, purge or binging to where we're eating more foods than really we mean to because we've told ourselves, you know, I can't really have that. That food is bad. And lastly, I would say don't put hard limits on yourself. You know, moderation where necessary. Be mindful of what you're eating but it's the holidays. We're getting to see friends, we're getting to see families, especially with how things have been the last two years. You should really take the time to enjoy that. For more on our interview with Alexander, simply log on to our website, mytwintears.com. For 18 News, home for the holidays, I'm Zach Wheeler.